Happy New Year, YouTubians. I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas because I did miss posting my um, Christmas video. And I always want to wish you a very and merry, prosperous new year. And um, I just wanted to say thank you so very much for supporting me this year. Thank you so very much for taking time to drop by my channel. I really appreciate it. In the coming year, I plan on launching some new stuff. I want to reiterate as I did a couple years ago when I first started YouTube, I am not just about hair and makeup because I think that there are more uh, things to me than just hair and makeup. Um, not to insult anyone, uh, that is not my goal. I think that there's enough gurus on the YouTube site. A great deal of them have helped me. Um, Atia, who was one of the first videos that I had ever watched, and she showed me that there was a regiment that I had to put together with reference to how to do my hair. And uh, since then, in the last past two years, I have discovered many other gurus on the um, YouTube site who have helped guide me through some of the processes. Over the last two years, I have gone natural over a 15 year period, decided that um, I couldn't do it and reverted back to a Texlax uh, process and um, right now and I'm several weeks post text lax what have you but I'm trying to discover ways without um, putting heat in my hair so this is my latest do what do you think okay anyway um, a friend of mine's always teases me and says what's going on in my head and uh, he nicely coined the phrase, what's going on in Cooperwood County. Of course, that's my, um, my name. And um, I just wanted to say that uh, it's a lot going on in Cooperwood County. So that being said, I'm going to give you some insight into Cooperwood County. Cooperwood County is where I'm the judge, I'm the jury, the jury, and the police, the grocery store person, the cleaning person, the public bank, the library, all information is located right there in, in uh, Cooperwood County. Also, just at the far end of Cooperwood County is a place called Stuff's Beach. And Stuff's Beach is where we bury things and we leave them there forever. Um, it's a beautiful beach, but it's not good for walking on because there are things buried there. And we'll talk about that a little as we go on toward the uh, um, beginning of the new year. So um, also I want to say thank you so much for my new subscribers. Those of you who have subscribed for whatever reasons they were, they were um, I want to thank you for um, subscribing to me. It's very important to me that, you know, um, I give you quality videos and give you something to look at. Check out my 401k video, um, my little black dress video. Um, also, I have one out there, my classy hats. You know, I, I like to go back and look at those myself sometime, just so that, you know, I'm consistent with some of the things that I do. So, as we go forward into 2011, or as we like to say these days, 2011, I want you guys to think about what are you going to do better for the coming year? What are you going to do different for the coming year? How are you going to treat people better in the coming year? Um, just think about yourself and how you're going to put one foot in front of the other and do something new and do something different. 2011 is going to be my 52nd year in existence. I'm going, for me, I am going to try to be more healthy. I heard a phrase today called, eat from the farm, not from the factory, and I plan on doing that, and I'll have more discussions about 
from eating from the uh, farm and not from the factory. So uh, as I draw this to a close, I want to say Happy New Year to you all. Thank you to my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you for keeping the sisters strong. Um, I want you all to keep in touch and drop in and see me every now and then. God bless and keep in touch. Mm. Okay, P.S. I know you guys uh, were probably curious as to how I achieved this look. Um, didn't want to go away without telling you that, so I'm going to tell you because I know I'm going to get some questions about how did you get that hairstyle. So I'm going to tell you. What I do is I wash my hair and um, rinse it, of course, like you know, like you always wash your hair. And then I usually apply the um, the Kimi Tube uh, leave-in conditioner. I really, really like it. it. It works wonders on my hair. Thank you, Kimi Tube. I really appreciate that. Um, and then what I do is, after my hair is kind of halfway dry, or mostly dry, to tell you the truth, I'll um, put these little bendy rods here in it. Some people call it bendy rods, uh, flexi rods, or what have you. And I mean, I, I discovered doing this because I was on the phone with a friend of mine. I had just gotten out of the shower and um, talking to him. I knew that I would be talking to him for quite some time, so I just started grabbing chunks of my hair and rolling it up in these bendy rods. And as you can see, I have all shapes. One thing that I, I have learned about um, doing this little hairstyle with these bendy rods is not to go too big, otherwise my curls will be um, a, a little lazy. So I try not to go any larger than these red um, bendy rods here but this is what I use and I set that one time and then what I'll do is if I see that my curls are kind of going kind of flat I'll reset it otherwise at the end of the night when I'm getting ready for bed I'll just slide this little cap right here on my head like this here and I'll go to bed and when I get up in the morning I'll take this off of my head I'll fluff my hair back up, get all my fluff all over there, and fix it up so it'll look cute. You know, I do work in a corporate environment, you know. And voila, I put my makeup on. And you know, it's really funny because when you put your makeup on, you know, you kind of start looking all good. And that hair just, it doesn't matter what you do with your hair at that point. Anyway, that all being said, this is the hairstyle I've been wearing. I'm going to try to wear it for as long as I can without applying heat. One thing I have noticed is that my hair has grown a great deal for some strange reason. It's just growing out my scalp. And when it grows up my scalp, it's like, wow. You know, anyway. Um, thought you'd be interested to know how I got this hairdo. So now you know. And if you like it, leave a comment below. And I'll be happy to respond to anything that you have there. You guys take care, and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye-bye.